We're going to take a look at one of the fastest Linux distributions I have ever tested. Antix. I mean, this thing is almost as fast as Windows 10. I think I just had 100 people go, say what? All right, welcome back. Obviously, it's a joke. Uh, this thing is not as slow as Windows 10. This is Antix uh, Linux, A-N-T-I-X. This is based off a of Debian stretch, I do believe, off the stable branch. This is actually my second look. I did a full install of this inside um, <clears throat> inside one of my ThinkPads. I had Windows XP. I ran this with two gigs of RAM, and it absolutely flew. So I'm running this off the live USB on my full screen monitor and we're going to take a quick look so this is the default desktop i like the default wallpaper we have a conky to the top right and, and if you look here maybe you can tell with simple screen recorder 234 megabytes of ram if i was running say ubuntu it would be probably close to maybe two gigs of usage versus 236 megabytes of RAM. Outstanding. All right, let's move along. Uh, you can right click on the desktop to give you everything you need here in terms of where you need to go. I did change the theme, by the way, and I'll show you that in a moment. All right, let's move along. There is a panel at the bottom. And one thing I noticed off the live uh, environmental or the live mode here live environment and even in the full install the panel is somewhat sparse now this is missing the calendar the sound icon the networking manager it's not here uh, i believe there is a way to put those on there so that being said this is my second test this is definitely not something for newbies so let's move along so once again we do have simple screen recorder installed i did install uh kazam did not work all right we have two working desktop environments, uh, workspaces here. Let's go straight to the uh, menu or the start button, however you want to call it. Uh, terminal, let's take a look at the file manager. Um, well, that's interesting. I guess I have to guess what which folders I'm in. Mm, I guess changing the theme is might do this. That's kind of weird. Or maybe doing this as a full install, running all the updates, you won't have this issue. But that is kind of strange. All right, no big deal. Let's move along. Web browser. Uh, I notice as a full install on my ThinkPad, web pages seem to load twice as fast. I mean, the whole system ran twice as fast as what I, as what I was used to as a full install. So yeah, very nice. I mean, one, one way to describe this is Linux light loaded i mean really nice linux let's move along editor personal the personal menu help video very nice applications i mean there's a boatload here all right accessories let's see if anything catches my eye all right conky toggle you can turn this on or off as you see right here uh let's leave it off i mean i already know how much ram it's using which isn't uh, much so all right, uh, cherry tree. I mean, I'm getting hungry already. All right, clip it. A <laughs> calculator. This will calculate uh, what to rate all, all of your girlfriends, <coughs> gals. <coughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see. Anything else here catches my eye? XF burn. Ver very good um, burner applications to burn CDs. Education, LibreOffice, math, games. Just a few. Graphics. Um, this is all fine. The only thing I would install if I was going to do a uh, if I was going to keep this, I would install. Um, I would have installed GIMP. Internet, uh, lots to choose from here. Firefox ESR. That's interesting. Uh, I would have installed Chrome if I was going to do this, so I could do the via uh, the, uh, Google Hangouts. Office, the usual LibreOffice programming, Genie and Vim, sound and video. All right, the GNOME video player, GUV CVU. Excellent webcam application. Kazam, I tried to I tried to install. It looks like it's installed, but it did not work. MPS YouTube looks like a terminal-based application. MPV Media Player I've used before. The poor man's radio player. This is so cool. Uh, I don't do a lot of the terminal, as it were. But here we have music by category. So let me pick uh, 08 or yeah, 08 jazz. 
And the, I like smooth jazz. So, um, uh, smooth jazz global right here in number 16. Let's see if this will work. Nice. Very nice. Smoothjazz.com. Okay, I, I don't want to get a copyright strike, so let's move along. But yeah, that is so cool. I don't know why I'm, don't know why I'm, I'm so excited off a terminal music player, but I might have to install this in my uh, Ubuntu Mate, the poor man's radio player. Awful name. Um, let's move along here. Uh, let's go to system tools again. For a light system, this thing is absolutely loaded. Synaptic Package Manager, excellent. One of the best. I think it's the best package manager for Lynx, but that's just my personal opinion about this. Let's, um, Control Center. Uh, desktop System, Manage Packages, uh, Networking, Shares, Session, Set Screen Resolution, Live, Configure live persistence disks. Install antics hardware. Set up a printer, PC information, drivers such as NVIDIA driver installer, and some maintenance. A boot repair. Okay, very nice. Let's move along. All right, uh, where were we here? System tools. Um, anything else catches my eye? Ah, the GDB package installer. Excellent tool. We have preferences. Uh, let's see. Oh, Windows wireless drivers. Interesting. Print settings, installer, firewall configuration. Customized look and feel. Uh, we did Mediterranean. Let's try. Uh, let's try Crux. Yeah. Let's see if that'll fix the the issue with the file. Okay. Now I can look at the file manager a lot better. Okay, so some of the things may not work properly, I'm assuming. I don't know. But let's move along here. Um, anything else catches my eye? Uh, all right, let's move along the update menu. Desktop, other desktops. Uh, wow, lots of choices here. Um, it's running IceWN by default. Uh, I think I'll keep it the way it is. And the let's turn on the conky on again, I guess. App Killer, Control Center help, Antics, ICWM help, Applications, Firewall, and, and the man pages. That's right, the manly pages. Uh, anyway, uh, Focus, Themes, lots and lots. I mean, a boatload of themes. I It's, it's great. Yeah, if you want something that's lightweight with a lot of choices, uh, yeah. Take a look at all these themes. I think I picked um, this. The theme I have now is Pumpkin Large. What what did I see? Groove. Groove Large. Groove. Okay, you got my attention. Okay, a light lighter one. Oh, look at the bottom left. We have the Dallas Cowboy Star. Oh, I got to keep this theme. Oh, yeah. As you can tell, I'm a Cowboys fan. How about them Cowboys? Anyway. And, um, Yeah. This is Antics. Overall, loaded, uh, fast, uh, not something for newbies, at least not without reading all the documentation. I think it looks great. It feels great. It's fast. Looks like the Windows hotkey works to bring up the menu. Uh, yeah, so if you have an older machine, Again, the example I gave, I had to have a Windows ThinkPad that was designed for Windows XP. It had two gigs of RAM. I installed this, a full install, ran it for not that long, but I noticed right away it was extremely fast and zippy, and it seemed stable. So once again, if you want to take a look at something to uh, revive an older machine and you have a little bit of experience in Linux, if you don't, that's okay. Read the documentation. The documentation itself is loaded. So take a look at this, and um, yeah, you may find you may have the need for speed, like uh, like many Linux users do, as opposed to say running something like uh, Windows 10, as it were. So that's all I have for this one. I hope this uh, little video helps you out if you are new to the world of Linux. 
Thank you for another year of this Total OS Today technology channel. We are into 2019. Thanks to all of the supporters of the channel. Because of you, we're going to have a special live event coming up. My top 10 picks for Linux, Linux distributions uh, for 2018 and not necessarily for beginners. So that should be very, very interesting. Well, that's all I have for this one. Enjoy your technology, whatever you use, and I'll catch you next time. Arrivederci.